Terry from D-Lab and this video is to show you how to bias a 6L6 Class A amplifier the easy way. Okay so for this demonstration we're using a little D-Lab 6L6er which is a Class A 6L6 amp and it's uh, cathode biased. So there's just a cathode resistor to ground which sets the bias through the tube. Okay. Now at this time I do not have the resistor connected to pin 8. That's what this jumper wire is and right now I've got a little pre-setup. Okay, I've got a resistor here that I'm going to start with and then I'm going to connect a dummy load resistor to the speaker output. You never want to try to set bias without having a load to simulate the speaker. Okay. So at this point I've chosen a 1K resistor which is way overrated. I'm looking for approximately 40 milliamps through this tube. So I've got a current meter set up here. Okay. That's a 200 milliamp scale. And then this meter here is just going to monitor my plate voltage. You really don't even need that meter but I'll show you why in a minute. So we'll flip around and here in a second you're going to see the current starting to come up on that meter. Alright, so here she comes. Like I say, my bogey is 40 mils. You can see we're at 34 mils. The high voltage is about 380 volts. Okay? Now 35 mils would work, but it's a little light because I'm shooting for 40. Alright, so let's kill it. And always wait until you see this voltage discharge and that current go down because if you don't you will apply it across an open trick will get you and you'll get hit with about 380 volts or whatever the voltage is on the amp you're messing with okay so now I'm going to go down to 820 ohm resistor and that's usually the value on all my amps okay here we go she's ramping back up you can see my current's going up a little higher now than what it was before. So I'm at uh, about 39, boom, 40 mils. There she is, 372 volts. So if you calculate that, you'll see that the wattage dissipation on this amp is about, you know, 80, 90 percent of what the tube is rated at. And uh, that's a good level to be at for Class A operation. So in a second here, let me put her on the scope for you. And you can see what the output looks like. But this is probably the best way to set your bias. Because not only do you monitor the current, okay, you're also looking at your plate voltage so you can calculate wattage directly. It's simply that current times that voltage to calculate the current and the wattage through that output tube. All right, well, I permanently installed the 820 ohm resistor. And now we're going to just monitor the voltage across that resistor. This is another way to verify that you got uh, values where you think this should be. Like I said, I'm looking for that magic 40 mils, right? There's uh, about 32 volts, 33 volts, we can call it, across the resistor so if we said 33 divided by the 820 ohm resistor right around 40 mils that's what I'm after so this amp just sound like a million bucks so let's put it on the scope now here we go I got the scope hooked up into that uh, 8 ohm dummy load still so you're not gonna hear anything but just watch the scope tones about straight up masters about three-quarter Here comes a gain you can see that nice sine wave. Now watch when I crank her. Get some real cool breakup. And that's what you achieve by having that bias set right on that 6L6. That nice, touch responsive 6L6 sound. Hope you enjoyed the video.